Hey what's up guys, I'm Jinan and these are the mechanical pencils I used for a while now and uh, here's the countdown. So on number 5 I have Unicuru Dog Advance which is an auto rotating mechanical pencil. Basically it means that every time you press down the lid rotates a bit and it does that twice as fast as the roulette version but I'll get to that in a minute. The purpose to do that is to solve the chisel tip problem so you can have a consistent line thickness. This is kind of a problem when you're using 0.7mm lids or lids that are thicker than that but not so much when you're using 0.5mm. Also I just manually change my grip constantly and take a lot of pauses so that's certainly not a feature that I need or I look for. It causes the lid to wobble a lot and I definitely don't like it. The lid tip can be retracted inside to prevent things from breaking. I guess it's a helpful feature but I don't mind not having it. And the eraser cap is just really hard to take off with my butterfingers simply because it doesn't have a place to grab and pull. And when you run out of the eraser, you can't extend it like the pentel erasers or these uni erasers. And no, you can't fit it in there. Also, it's really hard for me to use because of this grip. This area does have a different texture and some curves, but it still slides through my fingers to the point where it's actually unusable. And when you're spending around 7 bucks to get a pencil that doesn't get the basic things right but it looks cool maybe it's not worth your money so it gets a nope on number 4, I have Unicuru Toga Roulette, which I think looks the coolest. It's from the same company, so the lid rotates as well, but it doesn't wobble that much. And instead of getting a V-shaped lid sleeve, you get this shape, which definitely helps when you're working with rulers or other geometric tools. The pencil itself is sort of heavy, but not too much. The grip is much better. You get knurls on a metal piece and instead of making things transparent they went for this window design so you can still see it working. The whole eraser unit is not really a good design. The eraser itself is just too skinny and soft. Maybe they chose to make it that way so you can adjust some fine details but making it flexible kind of loses the whole point. Also it wears out really fast and it wobbles. So even though it's better, it's not really good. So it gets an nope as well. On number 3, I have Pentol Graph Gear 1000, which is a drafting pencil. Because it has a long 4mm lid sleeve, has a lid hardness indicator, and it had a sticker on top of the eraser cap that says the lid size. Because these pencils are meant to be stacked and you're supposed to take the one you need for your serious work. But I took that off because I prefer a clean design, but I'm just gonna show you a picture. And even though the lid sleeve is retractable, it doesn't wobble. I mean, it does on a micro level. I mean, I can feel it, but I think it's fair to say that it does not wobble. Also, it gives you a really great visibility and you will notice that when you're writing or sketching or drafting. It makes you feel like you are doing something. And here are the bad things about it. The eraser cap is likely to get lost simply because you can't keep it like that. The clip is there to hold down the lid so you can put it in there. And when I saw the grip for the first time, I was like, wow, it got these rubber pads and these crisscross knurls um must be great but no it's just a really trashy grip it's really hard to even write with it also it's just too heavy around 0.72 ounces which is the same as more than two big mechanical pencils and when you're spending around 10 bucks to get a pencil that doesn't have a good grip doesn't have a manageable eraser cap and is just too heavy maybe it's not worth your money so it gets a nope on number two i have a normal big mechanical pencil i know it seems kind of unfair but it's just that it nails the basics really manageable really lightweight and really affordable you can get 40 of these for six bucks I'm just so used to seeing this pencil everywhere it seems like a go-to thing obviously the eraser is not replaceable because it's a disposable pencil and it's meant to be thrown away when the eraser wears out but the biggest problem of this pencil is lead breakage Because the transition fit between the lid and the lid sleeve is not so good. And this is 0.7mm. 0.5mm big mechanical pencils are just unusable. I'm not exaggerating. When I transitioned to the big to the roulette, I was like, whoa, it doesn't break. And none of these pencils has that issue, especially for these two. So even though it gets most of the fundamentals, it gets a maybe. Finally, on number one, I have Pentel Graph 1000, which is also a drafting pencil, but 
better. The lid sleeve is again 4 millimeters long, it's really lightweight and the grip is really really good. I have excessive sweating problems so I wear this glove when I'm doing stuff on paper and so that's why a good grip is important to me. There's really nothing much going on. It's a simple painted metal piece with some solid rubber pads. This piece is also coated with the same paint and it definitely makes the whole thing better. On the eraser cap you would see there isn't any sticker that says the lid thickness but it's actually ingrained in the plastic and the lid hardness indicators are also there you just have to twist it and it just snaps on places this is definitely the design I prefer because it keeps the not so necessary moving parts away from the main pencil and it makes the whole thing feel really sturdy and solid and overall I think it's really sleek stealthy and cool. I can actually carry it under my jacket sleeve for faster access. It stays there and it blends in. Also it doesn't grab that much attention, which is also true on the internet. These two just pop up everywhere. Anyway, for not having too many moving parts, having a great visibility and grip, and being really sturdy, solid, and lightweight while keeping a low profile look, it gets a dope. And just to give you some more information, if you drop the Graph Gear 1000, it's likely to break from here. It would make a bit more sense if you just take it apart. And if you drop the Graph 1000, it's likely to break from here. I was thinking about making this video instead of the review that I made 5 months ago, which was actually a school project, but I accidentally dropped it on the floor and it broke. Now I have these two for backup. That's about it and I'll just see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jinan. Oh.